Dean, a fantastic display from the lads there. What do you make of that? Yeah, brilliant performance uh, from start to finish. Um, at half time, I was a little bit probably sketchy, is probably the word I sort of said to the boys, look, can we go out in the first 10 minutes of this game and put it to bed? We were 1 0 up on hit the post, the crossbar four times. We missed too many chances for me liking. And our attitude second half and our mentality at the start of the second half was outstanding. And to get the two goals quite early in the start of the second half sort of put the game to bed. And uh, I wish, we, you know, we smelled blood today. And uh, we really need to really smell it a bit more. I think we could have won the game by more goals, to be honest with you, especially where our goal difference is. So I'll always demand extra from the boys. They know that. I sort of said that to them at the end in the huddle. But, you know, we've got to be proud of our performance as well today. Rhys Gregor Cox uh, got off the mark for, for the club and uh, he scored an early goal. It really set the tempo for the first half, didn't it? Yeah, it was nice to score early. We felt, you know, we were lucky enough we won the toss and we changed it around. It was a big win going down towards where, obviously, the old stand used to be. Um, so we felt getting that was a, was a bit of luck for us. And, and that helps. I, I remember at Torquay, I was losing the toss and going against the wind, um, which we didn't want. They won it and, and to get 2-0 up. And we just felt if we could start strong um, and gain a lead, uh, it gives us an opportunity. So I was... I was I'm not disappointed, I was frustrated we didn't come in at half time uh, f- forward ahead, which we should have been. Our display was excellent. But uh, we've got a good mentality, we've got good lads. And if you see now, I don't want to go off our thing. Efron obviously has missed the penalty, he's out now taking penalties for aiming his ears after the game. That's how much he looks after his game, this kid. And no doubt he'll go on to be a superstar. Uh, Adam Murray obviously scored two. Was he, uh, was he asking you to take the penalty? No, I, I designate it was on penalties. Uh, now, if. if if Efron would have let Marriott take it, would have let Maz take it, um, that's between them two. But I designate was on penalties and set pieces, so Efron's on them and uh, he'll stay on them. We spoke about before that the pressure was sort of on us today to, to get the three points and we've certainly rose to the occasion. How, how pleased are you by that? Yeah, Deloitte, the mentality is excellent. Uh, training's been good all week. And let's be honest, Dover haven't been capitulating like that against anybody. Um, but I thought from, from the ward goal, we were outstanding. Um, you know, I've watched the previous games. Uh, they went to Stockport and only lost 1-0. Um, I think they went to Wheelstone and only lost 2-1. So, and they're in a tough position, let's be honest. Uh, but I think Hesse and, and Nicky have done an unbelievable job to keep that team going, keep them organised. Uh, they deserve a lot of credit for the situation they've been put in at that club. Do you feel like this, this result has been a long time coming, given our spirit performances recently? Yeah, we've got, like I say, we sort of had that six, six games where things weren't right for us all round. Um, but before that, we had 14, 14 games and we had a good points per game ratio. And over the last four or five games, we've been decent as well, to be fair to us. I thought we should have got more at Torquay. And we said, I thought we should have beat Kings Lynn. And uh, I felt last week at Halifax, Halifax should have got something out of the game. So we signed a few players, got a little bit of legs, a little bit more energy. How my teams like to play. I like to play high tempo, get in your face. And that's what we did today. What would you feel like the most important thing was, was about today, given, the, given our, our recent results? We've obviously cut, come back and responded uh, fantastically, haven't we? Yeah, look, it's difficult. This division's difficult. There's no easy games. You know, at half time you're thinking, no doubt everybody would have been going into the bar and, you know, and chatting and going, how are we not four, five, six up? So that's the, the mentality of our players at half time. You just got to continue to take it one game at a time. It's so important. And you can't get carried away in this division. It can kick you in the teeth as, as, quick, as, uh, as quick as anything, really. Uh, a, a solid dis- the uh, defensive display as well and, and a clean sheet for Aston Oxford which um, I'm, I'm sure you, you'll think that he needs given his, uh, his confidence in recent weeks the team needs clean sheets we defend from the front if you look at Coxie's attitude Efron's attitude the front lads Adam Marriott they pressed the ball from early doors they made it difficult for Dover and we defend as a team so when we get a clean sheet we get it as a team and even myself and I'm a big believer clean sheets bring you success and um, we just haven't had enough this year so we've got to enjoy that one today I think that's our fifth is that our fifth clean sheet of the season I think it is fourth or fifth but it's still not enough so yeah for Oxo I'm delighted for him because he's had a tough time of late but he saved us against Kings Lynn um, we had a little bit of a tough time last week he was punished for an error he made at Halifax um, but today he was outstanding didn't put a foot wrong and his kicking was good his decision making was good so uh, I'm delighted for him I, I felt Gregor Cox and, and Marit also linked up really well this afternoon as well didn't they yeah Cox he walks his socks off and Maz is a goal scorer is that Maz's 10th goal of the season 11th right. is it I'm not sure what it is so yeah they, they both. I think they both got a brace didn't they um, and that's what Maz does he's a fox in the box both goals are poachers goals so he deserves that and Cox he needs to add more goals to his game he knows that uh, that's the conversation we've had and uh, if he adds more goals to his game he won't be playing at this level and, and how pleased are you to see uh, Rhys Green on, on the goal sh- on the score sheet as well because he's, he's ch- chipping in for, from the defence as well yeah yeah he got a goal at Stockport didn't he early in the season as well so he's a big 6 foot 6 he's a monster he needs to score more goals he's a few other chances in the first half where he should have scored as well so it's something we work on during the week 
and he's a handful. He's a big, strong boy. And uh, if he can get himself more goals, he'll put himself in the limelight as well. Lots of positives to take forward from today as well, uh, bit building into, into the next few matches. Yeah, Northwood next, just focus on that, see how we are on Monday morning. We've got too many injuries for my liking, like I told you before, but it's our resilience to injuries has been poor this season. It's something we're going to change. Um, it's very hard to change in season. It comes usually in pre-season, and when we do do pre-season next year, it'll be the hardest I'll ever do. Um, we'll be introducing boxing and different things to pre-season to make sure we don't have these types of injuries. Um, so, yeah, so look, like I said, we'll... Dissect the game, debrief it like we always do on Monday morning, uh, have that conversation with the players, show them visually and practically look to improve. We always have to try and improve, because you can. And then we move on to Norwood, uh, which is an important game for us because we want to get to a County Cup final. And no matter what anyone says, you want to win things. And the fans were class today, especially for, for clapping uh, for Chris East in the 19th minute. Yeah, obviously we went down and uh, we, we, we spoke with Chris's mother and that and his family um, earlier on today. So myself and the staff and Jamie Torley, our captain. So tough day for them, but I hope we give them you know a nice day of result um, for Chris's family and that I hope we give them a nice day for them to go home now and enjoy. And uh, we celebrate his life really. That's for them and the, the, today's results for, uh, for Chris and his family. And uh, God bless the poor kid and God bless his family. But their supporters today are outstanding. But it's their job to give them something to sing about. That's the main thing. You know, as players, as the management team, we've got to give players, uh, give our supporters something to sing about. And uh, we did, we definitely done that today. Long may it continue. Thanks for your time. Congratulations on the win. Cheers, buddy. Top man.